Now we are on the journey to Lao Tzu's Tao Te Ching. Ching means book, Tao means the way, and Te means virtue. Virtue is the way realized by man. Tao Te Ching is the book of the way and virtue, or book of the way, because virtue means the way. What is the way in Tao Te Ching? There are two interpretations. First interpretation, the way means the way or the movement of all things or of the universe. The way in this meaning also indicates the principle, often the eternal principle of all things. This interpretation is supported by many words and statements in Tao Te Ching. Tao Te Ching begins with eternal way, the way with the name nothing, as the origin of heaven and earth and the name being as the mother of all things. The way is also called nature. This nature is before heaven and earth and God. So the way is really the eternal principle of all things. The paragraph, the way gives birth to one, one gives birth to two, two gives birth to three, three gives birth to all things says clearly that the way is the way, the movement, or the principle of all things. When I was a student, I learned the way of Tao Te Ching in this meaning. If we open the books about Tao Te Ching, we find this interpretation. Second interpretation. The way indicates the way or the manner of living of man. This interpretation is also supported by many words and statements in Tao Te Ching. The way is the way of sages and of kings, of good people, of thieves. The statement, when the great way was abandoned, there appeared benevolence and righteousness, says clearly that the way is human way. A man who practices the way is virtuous, virtue, te, is the way realized in man. The title, Tao Te Ching itself denoted that the way is virtue and therefore the way is the human way. The human manner of living, the human manner of dwelling of man with himself, with others, and with things. However, we should take note that only the good way is virtue. Bad way or wrong way cannot be virtue. The word way standing alone often indicates the good way. If we open books about Tao Te Ching, we also find the interpretation that the way is both human way and the way of all things or the universe. So what is the true meaning of the way in Tao Te Ching? According to the first interpretation or according to the second interpretation, our journey to Tao Te Ching also aims to answer this question. At the beginning of our journey, we fall into a mystery. From chapter 1 to chapter 10, Lao Tzu talks about 1. Mystery, non-doing, and non-talking. 2. Sage and the sage's way of governing. 3. The way as an empty bellow. It exists even before God. And four, some of its inexhaustible, durable use. Chapter 11 has an important saying. We make doors and windows for a chamber, but it is the empty space within it that is its use. People think that doors and windows make the chamber. The material makes the chamber. However, it is not so, with the same material wood, but this is a table, that is a cane, that is a house. It is the use that makes a chamber. Doors and windows make a thing with a certain form. It is the way by which men use a thing that makes a chamber. A piece of crystal becomes a chalice when mortal men use it to hold wine to be offered to an immortal God. The use is not material. The use is the empty, the nothing. The nothing, the empty, is not material or the physical. The non-physical, 
the metaphysical is named the nothing, the empty. The nothing or the use is not unreal. It is not real in the manner of a material or a material thing, but it is real in its own manner. This is an important discovery of Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu sees two different realities, material and the nothing. In the appearance of the chamber, there is the appearance of two different realities, material and the nothing. In other words, in the appearance of a thing, there is the appearance of the twofold. The term twofold is used to indicate that in a thing there is material and the nothing. Another term is two shores, the shore of material and the shore of the nothing. In his relation to a thing, man is in relation to the shore of material and the shore of the nothing at the same time in a thing, there's the difference of material and the nothing. The nothing is the use. What is the use? The use by man, the dwelling of man, the way of man. So the way makes doors and windows appear as a chamber. The use is the manner by which man relates to the thing or the way of man. The way is the origin of a chamber. The way is the origin of a chamber, not the origin of doors and windows. The origin is the origin of the appearance of a thing. The way is the origin of all things, or, more correctly and more clearly, of the appearance of all things. The way is the origin of the appearance or the existence or the being of all things. Human way is mysterious because if we are asked about it, we fall in trouble to find an answer. Lao Tzu wrote Tao Te Ching because he wanted to express it. The way is the human way. Lao Tzu did not look for the way as the movement of all things or the universe. Lao Tzu is not a scientist. We should remember that for Lao Tzu himself. The way is a mystery. He talks a lot about that mystery. He tries to talk so that the mystery becomes less mysterious. What is human way? Lao Tzu says, he who holds the great image will attract all things to him. They flock to him and receive no harm, for in him they find peace, security, and happiness. Great image indicates the way. Therefore, according to Lao Tzu, the way brings no harm security, peace, and happiness. In summary, the way is a peaceful dwelling. If we understand that peace includes peace, no harm, and happiness, man lives and he aims at such a peaceful dwelling. But the way as great image is not the ordinary way of man. In other words, man daily lives far from that way. Daily man lives according to another way. The living far from the way as great image is called fallenness or ignorance. This living far from the way does not bring no harm, security, peace, and happiness. Man looks for a peaceful dwelling, but in reality he does not attain such a peaceful dwelling. There are people who say that the present technological Civilization brings an evil and non-human world. Does Tao Te Ching provide an image of the way? The negative image of the way is mysterious, formless, soundless, incorporeal. The positive image of the way is heaven and earth. What does the way is heaven and earth mean? The Book of Change, a book appeared before Lao Tzu, expresses the way as heaven and earth. The statement of the way as heaven and earth easily drives people to the view that the way gives birth to or creates all things, the first interpretation. We have said that the way is a peaceful dwelling. The way as peaceful dwelling is heaven and earth because heaven and earth show us what is a peaceful dwelling. Earth with its fertility makes trees and vegetables grow. Earth is the place for human dwelling and heaven with its rain and sunlight also makes trees and vegetables grow.
brings coolness and warmness, making trees and vegetables grow. Being the place of dwelling and bringing coolness and warmness contribute to the founding of the peaceful dwelling. On earth, there are people and animals who love one another, help one another, and heaven there is God who grants graces. Loving, helping, and granting graces contribute to the founding of the peaceful dwelling. Man seeks a peaceful dwelling. From where does man get the idea of a peaceful dwelling? It is from heaven and earth. Heaven and earth are the origin of the idea of the way as peaceful dwelling. For men, the attainment of a peaceful dwelling is good, and his interpretation of heaven as originating in the Book of Change, Confucius, one of the four authors of the Book of Change, says, originating is the essential quality of goodness. Heaven is goodness or the origin of goodness, and goodness is the peaceful dwelling. That is the profound meaning of the way as heaven and earth. We have the term way of heaven and earth or way of heaven, and we should understand it in the above mentioned meaning. This understanding is supported by Confucius. Heaven earth is the image of the peaceful dwelling and the peaceful dwelling is the origin of the appearance of all things, including God. More correctly, the dwelling or the use is the origin of the appearance of all things. If this dwelling is an unpeaceful dwelling, things appear as things which construct an unpeaceful dwelling or destroy a peaceful dwelling. A thing like a house or a chalice constructs a peaceful dwelling. A thing like a bomb destroys a peaceful dwelling. The way as heaven earth is not created by men. If not created by men, where does it come from? From heaven earth. From heaven earth means that it comes naturally. That is the reason why Lao Tzu calls the way nature. With nature, people tend to explain nature as totality. The way is heaven earth is a totality which contains all things. Human beings come from it and return to it, first interpretation. The way is peaceful dwelling is not nature understood as a totality, but nature is a natural. The way is a natural as such, not created by men, not created by anyone. Therefore, we can say that it is before God. God needs the way to appear as God to men. The way is nature, the natural, suchness. Therefore, Lao Tzu also says that the way is one. The one is the first, the origin of, the appearance of all things, including God. Regarding things, the way makes things be there. Therefore, the way is the being of all things, Lao Tzu says, being is the name of the mother of all things, and all things under heaven are born from being. Regarding from itself, the way is nothing, not a thing. Therefore Lao Tzu says, nothing is the name of the origin of heaven and earth, and being is born from nothing. The way is the peaceful dwelling, and men seek a peaceful dwelling. But ordinary men do not attain the peaceful dwelling. Therefore, there are sages like the Buddha, Lao Tzu, Confucius, and Jesus Christ who teach to lead men to the peaceful dwelling. Why do ordinary men not attain the peaceful dwelling? What is the way of ordinary men? Lao Tzu sees two shores, the material shore and the shore of the way as nothing. Ordinary people seek a peaceful dwelling on the material shore. Living with the material shore is living with will, greed. Living with will is blind, deaf, cloying, mad, doing. Without the way is a calamity. There is war, harming. Without the way is evil. Because of ignorance, people seek a peaceful dwelling in the material shore. Men who have attained the way seek a peaceful dwelling on the shore of nothing. Living with the shore of nothing is living with no will. Humbleness denotes no will, not considering the material shore important. 
Humble is not lowering oneself. With the way, there is no disaster. The way is all-embracing just. With the way, demons no longer have powers. Therefore, the way brings a peaceful dwelling. The way is king. With the way, kings can rule the world. Those who have attained the way do not do what ordinary people do. And what ordinary people do is done by will, greed. That is the meaning of Lao Tzu's non-doing. Not doing what ordinary people do is not not doing at all. With not doing at all, there is no life. Lao Tzu is not so stupid. Lao Tzu says, non-doing and yet not not doing. Those who have attained the way do what ordinary people do not. Ordinary people do according to will, greed. Do not do according to no will. Sages do according to no will. Do not do according to will. Let's take an example. Ordinary people are not good to good people and not good to bad people. Sages are good to good people as well as to bad people because virtue is good to good people as well as to bad people. That is, render virtue to enmity. That is, love your enemies of Jesus Christ. Lao Tzu says, all men are joyous and beaming, as though feasting upon a sacrificial ox, as though mounting a spring terrace. I alone am placid and get no mark, like a babe that has not yet smiled. All men have more than enough. I alone appear to possess nothing. Life on the shore of nothing is clear, calm, and holy. Clear is not muddy with dust, of which three main dusts are money, sexual love, and fame. Calm is placid, serene, because of getting free from noisy madness of the material world. Holy is good, honest. Life on the shore of nothing has a different relationship with all things in comparison with life attached to the material shore. The former life is holy, with ease and light. The latter life is evil, weary, and heavy. If we want to know whether Lao Tzu is right or not, let us try to live like Lao Tzu. If he is right, we will follow him. We have to try to have the opportunity to know and to believe. Lao Tzu says, my words are very easy to understand and very easy to practice, but the world cannot understand them nor practice them. In order to try Lao Tzu's way of living, first of all, we have to read Tao Te Ching. Tao Te Ching, translated and interpreted by Thien Kong Tran, may make clear Lao Tzu's Tao Te Ching by Thien Kong Tran is currently available on Amazon.com.